Procrastination. <laughs> Let's say you've worked all day, you come home from your job, and you really, really don't wanna work on your Facebook ads, you don't wanna work on your logistics, or you don't wanna work on handling your employees, or you don't wanna work on anything. You just wanna lie down, you know, just forget about it and leave it till later. What is that gonna do for you? Let's be honest here. What's that gonna do for you as a person leaving things behind till the last minute? We're gonna talk about that in this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ecom Street, the best channel for e-commerce content. You won't find a channel like this giving free value on the daily, not even charging for it. Like we don't charge for the value that we upload. It's crazy. I highly recommend that you guys check out our free courses in our YouTube. Check those out. They're pretty good. Let's talk about procrastination now and what it does to you as a human being. I personally don't procrastinate as much as I used to. And we all know how much of a toll it can take. When you leave things for the last minute, things start to pile up. Let's be honest, like as a kid, when you were doing homework, you would leave an assignment maybe to the last day or you'd leave your homework to the last day or a final presentation to the last day. And then when things start to pile up, it gets really bad. Let's just use an example in your business. So let's say you have some Facebook ads to run or you know, maybe you gotta handle some logistic info and your, um, your employees are counting on you to do these, these kind of things. You have to look at it from their perspective and you have to look at it from your perspective obviously but especially theirs because they're you know depending on you to do those things and when you start leaving things to the last minute what does that show as a person it may show that you're lazy it may show that you don't care it may show that maybe you don't have a good interest in what you're doing anymore and that's not a good thing and we all want to change the way we perform and we all want to change the way we do things and the best thing to change your procrastination habits is to honestly just write things down and write why you don't want to do them. I feel like the things I don't want to do, I write down why I don't want to do it. And then I look at what I wrote and I'm like, wow, that literally makes no sense. I could really do this and I'm just being stupid. When you leave things that you don't want to do to the last minute, number one, you don't feel good after. And number two, it just piles on like no tomorrow. And you're going to feel even more stressed out when you have more to do. So that's why it's very important to schedule out your day and schedule out exactly what you have to do. I even put a time for each thing I have to achieve. You can even do this in Google calendars or on the notes app on your phone. It's very easy. There's no excuses to why you should leave things to the next day or, you know, the next week. Like I understand people have lives and things pop up unexpectedly and that's totally fine. Like, you got to deal with, you got to deal with, right? We all know that we're human beings, but at the same time, you got to find a separate schedule or separate day or something to do that. It's just unbelievable. And procrastination, it's a, it's a huge issue many people face. Let's be real here. Like a lot of people deal with procrastination on a daily basis. I've seen it firsthand with people I know and it just gets worse for them and shit piles up and they can't handle it anymore. I've seen people lose their businesses because of procrastination because they didn't take the right measures um, in saving it. You know, people have piles of debt on them. People have piles of everything. You know, you don't pay your credit card statements because you forget that's procrastinating, right? Now you owe interest to the bank. Now your credit score is at hand because you didn't pay on time. And now they think that you're liable and they can't offer you that much credit. You know, it, procrastination affects every area of your life, not just business, but even on a personal life per personal perspective of well, you know, maybe even leaving plants the last minute, someone's at your door and you completely forgot or you know you need to get ready and now you're leaving them to wait for you and it just doesn't look good and you want to fix those habits that you have okay I know everyone's different and you know Corey and I sometimes we 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 will procrastinate on certain things I won't lie I'm not a perfect human being neither is Corey we all have our little procrastinations here and there but at the end of the day we do fix up when the time is needed and I definitely think that writing stuff down is very helpful I think that if you write down and you literally write down the reason why you don't want to do it you'll be like oh shit it's not as bad as I think it is. Let me just do this. So say as a student perspective, because I'm still in school, I write down something. I don't want to do this assignment. I don't have time or too much work right now or stressing me out. And then I read it and it's like, well, what am I really stressed about? Like what's really stressing me out about this assignment? Is it how big the workload is? Is it how big, you know, is it, is it, is it hard to research something? Is it hard to do, you, you know, like there's a lot of things that run through my mind. And when I look at all the positives and all the negatives, nine times out of 10, the positives outweigh the negatives. And I just end up getting off my ass and doing what I have to do. 
Um, and you can apply that to anything, like I said. This procrastination thing literally goes around anyone in everyone's life. And it's important that you fix up. And if you guys ever have any questions or need someone to talk to, you can definitely hit us up on the channel or on our Instagram at Ecom Street. Um, it's in the description. You can definitely reach out to us and say, how do I fix up? How can I change these things? We'll be more than happy to help. So that was just a quick little video, guys. Nothing too crazy. I just thought I'd talk about that because a lot of people are done. You know, a lot of people are moving on to the summer now where we are and they want to get things going. Things do pile up. Things pile up on top of each of each other and not everyone gets to them and that's okay but as long as we fix up and we understand how to fix it so i hope you guys enjoyed that video thanks for watching feel free to give this video a subscribe and a like it would really help us with the youtube algorithm and i will see you guys in the next video take care